that is great stuff, but man does not live on bread alone. You also need engine roaring, tire squealing, and high-speed chases. Check it out. Welcome Martin Edmondson, ladies and gentlemen. Martin, creator of the game. Hello. Hi there. Nice to see you. It looks like from what we just saw, those two men do not like each other. Uh, no, that's right. They have a, there's quite a history between those two characters. Um, the, uh, basically, I mean, they're, uh, we've very much gone back to the roots of the game. The history is very important to us. So. Uh, the, we've gone back to the roots of what made that original drive game such a unique experience. So the first thing we've done is to bring back John Tanner. He's the undercover cop that we played in the first game in Driver 1. He's a little older, a little more hard-bitten. And uh, we've also brought back his arch enemy from the, the, the second game, Driver 2, Charles Jericho. Yes. And this sets us up for a relentless manhunt between these two historic characters. Now, what I'm going to do now is show you a, a video taken from gameplay that uh, shows just a few key moments from the action from the E3 build of Driver San Francisco. And talking about going back to the roots, we've returned the action to Driver 1's San Francisco, obviously, one of the most iconic car chase cities of all time, made famous in the original Bullet movie. So being all about city car chasing, Driver, we're going to go straight into the action here, a car chase between Tanner and Jericho. So brought back the, uh, the famous alleyways from Driver 1, stacked high with garbage, to smash through, bursting back onto the streets, so that's all back. We've worked really hard on the handling to bring back that Driver 1 feel of the handling, the 70s movie car chase feel of the big power out, uh, tail out slides. But you'll notice also for the first time in Driver's history, real licensed cars, over 100, well over 100, and we do damage them. So we're using the driver's view here. This is a view used in many of the 70s car chase movies like Bullet and French Connection that uh, inspired the original game. 
for the car buffs out there. He's uh, driving his own car, 1970s Dodge Challenger RT. Now that looks like the end of uh, Tanner's chase and whilst Jericho gets away I want to show you this it's a brand new innovative and a game-changing feature actually that we call shift now to put this in context what's happened earlier on in the game is that Tanner has been involved in a serious incident which has put him into a coma this is deeply integrated into the story he does not realize he's in a coma he just thinks he's had a lucky escape and ended up with this quite amazing ability to oh, yeah. be choose over the, the city like this he can identify the cars he's a car should choose himself, the neon I'm and he can shift instantaneously into any vehicle and at the simplest level, we can have a lot of fun with this. We can do things like uh, shifting out into other vehicles just to rapidly change direction, like this. We can also set up crashes, obviously, if we want to. By the way, this is not an unlimited ability. It must be charged. And it also upgrades throughout the game. Here we can see we can pull higher. We can see more of the city, more of the vehicles in the world. And ultimately, it upgrades to the point where we can see the whole city in its entirety. Truly massive driving environment, 208 miles of very diverse roads. And it's a city full of life and full of missions. And Shift is your key to accessing these missions. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. Now there's, uh, thank you. There's so much more to Driver San Francisco. There's so much more to shift, especially when you get into the tactics and the missions. And to experience that, I'd like to invite you down to the Ubisoft stand where you can have a, a hands-on with both single-player and multiplayer Driver San Francisco. And I can tell you that the multiplayer uh, is absolutely transformed uh, your perception of what a multiplayer driving game can be with the shift ability. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope we see you down at the stand where we can actually give you the controller. Wow, thanks, Martin. Thank you. I will come down Cheers. for 14 hours.